Scott, as you plot out your strategy over the next, as you say, 10 to 12 years, what role does trade play in that, in tariffs play in that? Is it affecting your decisions about where you build cars, for example? Look, you have to be cognizant of it now. I think historically it was less so, as you know, being an automotive manufacturer and a company, we don't negotiate trade deals. Trade deals get negotiated and they, we operate our business accordingly. But that being said, obviously you're fundamentally aware of what's been happening. But here for North America, if you look at our footprint with our plant in Mexico and our big plant in Tennessee, which we've been expanding, if we at least look at the initial feedback that we've gotten from, let's call it NAFTA 2.0, um, we feel we are in a good position. The overwhelming majority of the cars we sell in the North American market are made in the North American market. So we're in a pretty decent position. Now we have to get into uh, the fine details of the agreement and local content and all of that, but we feel we are in a decent position. And the truth is this, it makes sense to sell the cars and make the cars in the same marketplace to the extent possible. And for the most part, that's what Volkswagen does. Does that mean that in fact, if President Trump imposed tariffs on autos being imported from Europe, it would not materially affect your business in the United States provided the new NAFTA 2.0 or USMCA goes through? As of right now for Volkswagen, again, I think 95-ish, somewhere in there, 90 plus percent of our sales come from uh, the NAFTA marketplace, so that would not have a direct big impact. But look, uh, let's go back to the top of the question. We think even the conversation of tariffs and trade wars and all of these debates bring instability and bring unknowns. And frankly, I think lack of stability and unknowns is not a good thing for business. So we believe in free trade. We believe in fair trade. We believe in an open marketplace. That's what we need. You know, we make investments that are 10, 12, 15, 20 year cycles, as you know, and you can't have the chess pieces moving all the time. So do I feel we're in a good position to navigate uh, what's happening? Yes. But more importantly, our point of view is quite clear. Free, open trade, transparency, an absolute must uh, on stability.